calling you a radical. This w fucking video will really blow the fucking righty's fucking mind, the lefty's fucking paradigm fucking mind. This one, because it's like nuclear, doesn't fit into their fu football game. Right, left, dynamic, the lowest common denominator, the ignorant have been inherited the earth. Let's go to, I mean, you think about what people talk about. Talk about the lowest common denominator. So this one will really fucking make their brains and maybe you'll get three views. Can't rat left fucking dogma burger fucking hypnotize Fox News fucking CNN fucking who are the same team. Got to keep them separated when they're the same dumb fucking sheep. The Trump administration. Yes, Donald J. Freak nuclear identical twin to Obama Trump has just handed Bill Eugenics mass murdering nuclear gates $160 million. Handed it to him. Now, stay with me. He's going to develop new nuclear reactors. This dog and pony show has been going on since the 50s. Why? New scale? They'll never build a fucking reactor. Santa Susana? Oh, we know what happened there. Blown up. Fucking INL. Fucking from hell. 8-8 on the White Sea in Russia. How about fucking over here on the east side, which is... The West Side. I like how they call it the Far East. It's really the Far West. The Russian Peninsula off the Alaska fuck thing. You know, nuclear, nuclear. There's a bill in Congress that was passed in the 50s called Price Anderson. You know what kills me? Now, this is a great story for you, Mike Lee loving that mentally ill disturbed. Um, he, he's dumber than a dirt clod, and I know him. You can look up, go look at my trailer video on him. Uh, so, I, I got to tell this story, Price Anderson. Jake Garn spent his whole career here in Utah fighting Price Anderson. First off, how about that softball game we called baseball last night? I thought they were going to call the slaughter rule. Fuck it. It's not the thinking man sport anyway. Hard pitching, everybody throws 100, everybody hits home runs, period. Nothing. No strategy, no fucking... There's no beauty left in the fucking game. It's as fucked up as American culture. Fucking the 13th inning. So that day, there's a beautiful young woman in the union there who used to be in my class when I was a teacher in the day. I says, what are you doing here? She says, I'm a staffer for Mike Lee. Go talk to her. Another beautiful young wife says, I'm Mike Lee's lead staffer. I said, look, I don't like to play I gotcha with him because I know he's going to be ignorant on this subject matter. Have him ready and prepped. I'm going to be the first question up because the old Olin Walker Foundation. Now, why do I get the first question up at the university? Because the old Lang, I was friends with Olin Walker. What, female governor in Utah? She grew up right around the corner from me. Her mom was my second grade teacher. Her auntie was my first grade teacher. T.O. Smith's her father. Oh, they elected it? No, 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 no. Are you kidding? These are the most sexist people on the face of the earth. So, I says, I'm going to ask him about Fukushima. So, have him prepped and have him ready. So, sure shit, she prepped him. I asked Mike Lee, straight up, you can look it up. Mike, well, first off, I'd like to say, uh, you know, thanks for coming. Blah, blah, blah. Thanks for taking my question. Blah, blah, blah. By the way, Mike Lee was appointed because he was Alito's lead staffer. Mike Lee is a gift of Karl Rove. So I says, I've been gone for the last couple of years. I've been on my Mormon mission. Oh, where did you go? I says, the LDS East State Bone Marrow Transplant Center. <laughs> what about Fukushima, Mike? How come we're not talking about Fukushima? It's the greatest economic, I mean, it's the greatest issue in the world. How come we're not talking about that? Well, she had him ready. And he says, well, you know, I just found out my father is a downwinder, Kevin. His father died very young of cancer. Now, Mike Lee's father's originally from here in Ogden. They moved to southern Utah where everybody gets cancer. I mean, everybody. Everybody down there knows. Let's roll for Burgess Owens from Brooklyn. I wonder if he knows. I guarantee he don't. He's from Brooklyn. He's a football player. Let's vote for him. Let's restart testing, which they already started retesting. Here comes the sun. So, you know, any about, I've been dealing with Senator Wyden. And I said, well, so have I. Senator Wyden used to talk to me. Senator Wyden was head of the committee. Senator Wyden went to Fukushima, Japan multiple times. He spoke on the Hill. I've been to Fukushima, Japan. It's much worse than we're being told. 
He talked about, talked about, and then they throw down the State Secrets Act. They throw down the freaking gate in 2013 and classified it. Classified Kevin Blanche. One after me. Well, I'm in critical condition. So now Mike Lee's got a freaking, on the Senate floor, he's got a downwinder sign. He didn't even know what a downwinder was in his own words. Watch it. He didn't even know. This is how ignorant he is. I mean, selfish, ignorant people will elect selfish, ignorant leaders on chemo. Who taught him what a downwinder was? <laughs> Who schooled him up even what? But he won't talk Fukushima. Yet his father died young, very young, of AML leukemia. Oh, you don't think I have the right? How about Dirty Herbie's father died in the bone marrow transplant center next to me? Huh. There beside you where I used to lay. Where'd you sleep last night, Mike Lee? Don't you lie to me. I slept in the dead fucking pines with the sun from Fukushima, Japan. Oh, it always shines in the ghetto. I see Mac Davis died. In the ghetto. You know, he wrote that song for Elvis. I mean, really, there it is. You got a starving baby she cannot feed. He's going to grow up angry in the ghetto. He's going to get a fucking gun. He lay in the fucking streets of Chicago bleeding. In the ghetto. When did he write that fucking song? How many years ago was that? Right there. The art's always in front. Kevin Blanche. So, you know, I'll get my 232 Vs. They can go after me. Mike Lee kicked me off Medicaid. Now, stay with me. I'm in the bone marrow transplant center dying of AML leukemia. I got no chance. The chemo has not fucking done the number. It's got rid of the tumors, but my platelets won't recover. I'm too sick. I'm too fucking vulnerable for any more fucking treatment. You know, they're trying everything on me. My gallbladder has been destroyed from the chemo. It's, I don't know if you ever dealt with a bad gallbladder. That's some pain. I've got pain right now. My teeth are gone. I mean, from the chemo. But, oh, you took chemo, ha <laughs> ha. I was given no chance. I'm a 1% survivor. This is a disease that I have, ML de Nuvo. I remember, I remember the day the undertaker told me, you're really going to watch us load your father in the body bag. No, I'm going to help you. It'll, it, it'll wound you. Good. I remember when they loaded Annika in the body bag. Really? You don't have to be in? No, I want to be in here. I want to help you. I want to make sure you take care of her body properly, his body properly. Oh, it burned a hole in me. Good, good. Anger? Oh, fuck. Mike Lee should be the same thing about his dad, but he's not. So, I'm due for gallbladder. Fimbo says, your platelets are still counting. This has got to be a very tricky freaking thing. It's got to go out. You're in trouble. So, I was scheduled on June 2nd, 2015. They call me. On May 31st, and says, you don't have any more insurance. I forked over a million dollars to get in. I sold my Tesla stock, my Apple stock, all my stock in 2011. Play back the tape. How much would that be worth? Tens of millions. I sold almost a million and got in. Kevin, you got to have it out. I'm out of money. I'm kicked. They call me. You have no insurance. I says, yes, I do. I'm on Medicaid. So, no, you're not. So I called, did a bunch of digging. I called the doctors. I called them. They're like, no, you're on Medicaid. Dig in. He called back. No notification. No nothing. The hospital wasn't notified. I wasn't notified. Then I find out. They call me back and says, you ain't going to believe this. Mike Lee has sent, in his idealistic stand on Obamacare, has sent our fucking money back. They didn't have enough money, so they've taken all single males in the state just with a broad brush and wiped us off. I'm in a bone marrow transplant thing, so they wouldn't do the surgery. This is the Christian state we live in. I'm like, well, somebody, I got to have it. I didn't have it. As you know, my gallbladder ruptured later. That was after my fucking Eric Howfeld, which they wouldn't treat me for that either. You know, my heart's failing. It's my heart. It's my heart, you know. They wouldn't treat me collapse. I don't know how I didn't die. Emergency open heart surgery. Rip me out. Pour me out. There's things inside the screen and chat. I wonder why. Fukushima's ravishing should have been the fucking end. It's the biggest story in the fucking world. Mike Lee didn't even know what it was. So I went into the staffer later. About a year later. I talked to her. You know. She was in my class at Weber State when I taught. She knew. She says, Kevin, he didn't know anything about number. He didn't have a clue what you were even talking about. I prepped him. I got him ready. I says, Fukushima's a nuclear meltdown. Oh, I'll get to center wide and I'll get right back to you, Kevin. After the event, I went over his leech staff. They took off my information. This criminal uh, 
county commissioner, this Gibson character, was standing next to him. He's under an in, uh, FBI investigation right now. I'll call you on Tuesday. Never called. Never talked to me. Talk about fucking karma. I'll tell you what. You want to hear a tragic story? You know his brother-in-law. They were doing a some kind of crazy fucking rake up the forest thing, which is total bullshit up in Park Shitty. And they were dropping these giant bells out of these helicopters and his brother-in-law was orchestrated where to come. Do you know one of them dropped on his head and killed him? What a tragic fucking story. It's incredible to me, the karma. Abby in Japan's dying of leukemia. How about... Fuck, the head of the IAEA died of fucking cancer when he went to Fukushima. Why would these people throw, oh, Kevin, I'll get right back. You know, we just found out my dad's a downwinder. You're not, Mike? The half-life of this stuff is hundreds of thousands of years. Everybody in southern Utah dies. And let's go to Moab. Tourism, tourism. Don't go there. Let's move to St. George. What, so you can die? Ask Mama K. Brody. Ask anybody who moves down there. That's what you do down there. We call it the red dust here. In the bone marrow transplant center at LDS. Oh, it's HIPAA laws. Fuck them. I'll talk about my own cancer anytime I want. The, my, my doctor says, you go, Kevin. They gave me shit about using a camera in there. The administrators, why I'm in critical condition, sucked up, fucking almost dead. I remember telling that fucking administrator, fuck you. I'm in here dying of cancer. Don't you tell me I can't video my own shit. Fuck you. HIPAA, no, 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 no. This is my life. This is my life. So I'm in there for a long time, for years. Look up Marshall Jensen. He was in the room next to me. Most famous leukemia case in fucking, you know, maybe ever. He's dead. They're all dead. Except me. Carla's dead. Judy's dead. They're all dead. Mike Lee's dad's dead. You know, John Huntsman's dad's dead. Fucking Governor Herbert's dad's dead. My dad's dead. That's what they do here. Southern Utah makes up less than 5% of the Utah population down there. Go to Moab. Ask Edward Abbey. What killed him? You saw the Spiral Jetty video, the young girl with her smiley face. I grew up in black. She knew. Everybody down there knows. Any given day in the bone marrow transplant, East 8 LDS, which is the number one bone marrow transplant unit, maybe in the fucking world, in the country, Fimbo Peterson. He's moved to Boise now. Got to chase the work. He's a fucking incredible, and those nurses are the greatest down there. The doctors are the greatest down there. I mean, they take on radical, crazy cases like mine. Nobody else would even touch me. Even the Mayo Clinic wouldn't even touch me. I'm alive. Nine years ago yesterday, a doctor looked me right in the eye and says, you'll be fucking dead for two months. Any given day, you can go in there, well over 50% of the people dying and fighting for their lives are from southern Utah. Yet they make up less than 5% of the population that the hospital serves, the region. The other hot spots are Arco, Idaho, Idaho National Lab. So you Trumpers that hate Bill Eugenics Gates, Trump just handed Bill Eugenics Gates $160 million. For advanced little nuker, it's called Price Anderson. There's no liability. They get the money all up front. You can't sue. The FBI is in Ohio. We're going to go out. We're going to investigate the bribers, and not just the bribees. Sure they are. Fucking the Nuclear Energy Crime Syndicate, the untouchables. Stay in tuned, but maybe this can get 212 fucking views. It's so fucking outrageous what's going on. Fucking all we hear is Radio Goo Goo, Radio Gaga. <laughs> Go team. Stand.